accused is said to have scammed two students into paying three thousand Namibian dollars each for a guaranteed placement at the Winduk VTC after they did not make it into the center's successful applicants list. Up to now, we have not got any uh, information how far they went or they are with the, the case and so on. Mm -hmm. However, the the colleague who were here yesterday, that is the the city police officer. Uh, gave us the name of the of the officer who is in charge of that case. Uh, it is our interest, of course, to to know where they are because, based on the information, the scammers yeah. seems to be uh, implicating some of our staff member whatsoever. Mm -hmm. That is the reason why we wanted to follow up. What is they they are. Following the suspect's arrest, the Winduk VTC alerted its staff, training and the surrounding community to the scam. The head of training at the training center, Suzanne Hayter, is urging students, especially the new intake students, who are most likely to fall victim to the scams, to keep an eye out and report any suspicious activity on campus. If they see that they are doubting these kids who are receiving money, they come to me. That means there is this uh, person, can you verify? Then I go in my system, I verify. When I'm verifying, I'm verifying with the intake, which I put in the newspaper. I go to the CD of aptitude test. Then from there, if I can't see you in the aptitude test, I verify again with a list of invitation of people to come for the aptitude test. The first day when the student came, I addressed them that, please, nobody should pay outside without a proof of a receipt. I informed them. It's only that I happened to be busy during the week. I could not inform the others. But even today, I inform all the students and those ones also who are struggling yeah. that don't ever give any money behind the workshop. Make sure that you give it the right person, you receive a receipt. Yeah. And I told them that if from Monday, if there is any space and you have a Dancon, the attitude test, they will try to help you. As long as you applied in at upon our aptitude test, from Monday we are going to try to help you if there is any space. Windhoek Vocational Training Center students shared their concerns with Today on One. I feel really bad because that person make an effort to gather that money and it was a lot and it wasn't good because you mentioned you, are, you want to do something in your life and someone just came up with that scam and robbed you that money. It was a lot, 3,000 is a lot to lose. I really feel bad because it's not only affecting that person, it's really affecting all the students at school because it also caused the drain of our classes and also a lot of things. People are waiting to verify a lot of things. You guys, when you are coming to our school, it's better you go to the securities, you ask in the reception and ask all the relevant information. And please don't try to give your money to someone who is not even issuing you with a payslip and, you know, a valid paper that is saying you register the, our, our vocational or something like that. First, when they are entering the gate, they must ask the security to direct them at the reception. From the reception is where they get, can get all the information where they must register, to whom's office they must go. And they must also check the paper which they are getting after registering. Because sometimes you can get the paper which is not good. The WVTC's management team says it's waiting for feedback on the city police's investigation before conducting an internal investigation.